what's up guys welcome back to the channel uh real quick video for you guys today because i want to prepare you guys for the next video basically uh and keep you updated with what's going on i got the square body here um i just picked it up from the shop that it's been at for the past three days i'm sorry the, the cat i just chopped it chopped it in the background i i gotta leave so it's gotta get you know it's gotta do its thing so uh i just picked up the square body um shop had it for three days because the brake situation i didn't have time so i ran the truck to them i was pulling the trailer the other day and a caliper locked up on it um so i just had them do two front new calipers on it and we went with the four to six inch rough country lift uh braided stainless hoses they're really nice so i got that done currently we have no rear brakes at all because they're completely shot and those have to be done at a later day because we don't have time i don't have time to do all that so those are shot we have 100 percent great front brakes no rear brakes um and i didn't even tell you what we're doing i'm so sorry guys so uh it's thursday tomorrow me and all my buddies are leaving for the badlands off-road park uh for badlands bash i've never done any off-roading in my life um but i'm going to take the truck because i have it and uh, hopefully not beat it up too bad um because i want to come back and put all the rust-free parts on it and fix it up but that being said, they had a they had an open spot in the trailer, and um, I have this, so I get to go. I'm really excited uh, to experience this place. I've always wanted to go to the Badlands. I've never been there. But so now we got new brakes, so the truck the truck's not has doesn't have a locked caliber, and then we'll have all that 350 power, which is about 100 horsepower. And then I have a brand new or almost new set of BFG Baja uh, military tires here, 37s for the 16 and a half inch rim because these I don't think are gonna make it another uh, mile down the road. They're terrifying, they're literally rock hard. I'm scared to death to drive on them because the whole truck shakes so bad. So within the next couple hours, I'm gonna, I just put the propane tanks in the back of the blue truck and got them out of here. Um, brakes are handled, the tires are gonna go on as soon as I get back with the propane. We're gonna run those to my other buddy's house. And then I got an inspection cover that just came in the mail for the trans because can you even see it? Where's it at? Where's it at? I'm lost. Uh, there. There is no inspection cover on this transmission and I don't want to get a branch flung up in my torque converter or something like that. I don't know. So I bought one. Amazon had those. So I got to I gotta go get the propane, come home, get the wheels off this, get these wheels and those tires in this truck, um, and then I get the inspection cover on. I got a lot to do, but I want to bring you along for that. Uh, and then tomorrow we'll be heading out. And uh, my buddies with their, I think we have, there's three Wranglers going or two Wranglers. They're all, everything's on one tons. One of them's got a supercharger. You'll really want to watch that video because I bet it's going to be cool. I don't know yet because I haven't been there yet, but should be able to make a cool video out of it. Um, but yeah, I don't have time to talk. We're going to go get these. I'm going to go get these propane tanks filled and then start taking the wheels off the truck. So uh, I'll be with you guys in a second. Also, this is just getting dumber as as we go. Uh, this hose, set up for pro two propane tanks, this started leaking from here. Um, and I still don't know if I wanna keep this truck propane or gas. So these are like 70 bucks for one of these. So I did not order one. So I got one that I'm praying holds on for the weekend, even though that looks like it's already, I don't know, it'll be fine. Um, yeah, okay, well, this could get interesting. Stay tuned. All right, <clears throat> back home, we got three full propane tanks, the jack, all my stuff, and my obnoxious old hook I had on my truck years ago that I had on a shelf, which should be perfect in this thing. So I grabbed that because, I mean, look at that, it's necessary. Um, I'm gonna get these wheels off this thing now, and I don't wanna bore you guys with that, so I wanna do the, the thing that all those YouTubers do, and, oh geez, I almost fell and do the, uh, the snap and then it just got the wheels off. So three, two, I can't, oh, yeah, I, I can't snap either. So three, two, one, click. Man, I really hope that works because that'd be cool if it did. All right, tires are off. Check out my fresh new calipers. I have a lot of big 37s in the back of a six and a half foot bed. Uh, let's get rolling and get this over with. I'm getting really exhausted. <laughs> we got one left, boys. Look at these bombs I was rolling around on. These are so bad. Looking sweet, looking old school. This guy's the man. All right, he's gonna teach me how to have fun. You ready for that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I need one of them. Well, boys, I am beat, but this thing looks awesome. 
Uh, I actually am really glad it went with BF cartridges, B BFGs, uh, because they look way more aggressive. And I know those other ones still have a lot of tread. I think these might be a little taller. I don't know if they run a little taller. Uh, they barely fit in there. <laughs> this thing looks sweet. I don't know, maybe that tread pattern is just a little more period, correct me. It almost looks like a super swamper. Like it's more, it's a lot more aggressive. Um, so I think this thing looks sweet. Super pumped about those. Obviously not a huge change, but these tires definitely look a lot different than the MTRs did. Pretty sick. This thing's looking awesome. It looks period correct too. I just love it. I love this, this whole truck. It's just so awesome. So, uh, definitely the fenders are messed up. It doesn't matter. I'm probably going to smack them off that. I guarantee it, but, uh, I'm going to throw some propane in it. Um, and go test out, see if these things ride smooth. We put beads in them, uh, balance beads in them because, uh, I don't know, they weren't going to balance out that good. Those seem to work good on uh, the previous times I've used them. And, uh, the other tires were so, I think it's just because of how bad the tires were. I'd hit like 35 and the whole truck would just start shaking uncontrollably and have to, I'd have to slam on the brake, eh, slam on the brakes. I would consider it's pretty much death wobble, but the front end is super tight. Everything's good up there. So it was probably the tires. So I'm going to go ahead and get these propane tanks in here, uh, fire this thing up and take it for a little drive and see how she does. But other than that, I just have to, uh, I got to pack cooler pack my stuff and then run up and throw a spare tire in the bed of this thing. Luckily I have three of the factory wheels, the white steelies, the wagon wheels. So I'll pick the best one, uh, throw it in the bed, throw some tools in the bed. That should be good. So I'm going to cut the video there cause it's getting dark and I got a lot to do. So I got to run around, but at least all the main stuff is done. It's got brakes and it's got good tires on it. So let me know what you think. Was that a good tire choice? I think they look sick. They, those blow the MTRs away. I won't get empty. Those are, I don't know. I thought BFG was like, kind of an old man tire brand not gonna lie but they look sick on there they really do awesome tire uh, let's just hope they ride smooth i'm speaking a little soon but i'm gonna end the video there uh hopefully i'm planning on making a video of this trip we're leaving tomorrow um so i'll get this posted and stay tuned for that uh should have a lot of cool content i'm guessing it's gonna be a blast so hopefully i get the opportunity to make a decent video for you guys but Come back if you want to check that out. Like I said, Jeeps and this off-road Badlands, Indiana. Should be cool. But yeah, uh, if you like the video, please consider subscribing. Check out the other stuff. Um, and come back for making this truck nice after we off-road it. So uh, have a good one, and I will see you in the next video. And yes, I did install the massive hook, and it's massive.